Carl from Akron is first up. Carl, good evening, buddy. How are you? Good evening. Great. I was at a MIS last weekend. What a great weekend. I want to thank your producers and you guys, the people that come up and took pictures with me just because they've heard me on Motor Mouse. was humbling. <laughs> so Caroline and the boys from the Outer Realm, I appreciate it. But with that being said, DJ, you just kind of hit on it. Are we starting to see a strain between Rodney Childress and Kevin Harvick because of the late call that Harvick didn't agree with? Are we seeing a strain there? Yeah, I, I'm sure there is there. I don't think it's anything that we need to be concerned about. I think it's just a situation that probably behind closed doors, and that's not been Harvick's style over the years. He's not afraid to jump out and throw things as soon as he gets out of the car, but he didn't have a lot to say the other day. But I'm sure that they've had some meetings, probably Tony Stewart involved in that too, just to say, hey, let, let's get on the same page here. We, we've had good race cars. Uh, I don't know that you can say this year, as in other years, that they've had winning race cars as much as what they had had in the past, but they're working their way in that position. And as a driver, when you get beat by other strategies and i know that they had had some left front tire wear and i just you know i don't know if that came into rodney's right. mind or not that they needed to get four tires there uh but as a driver uh you're not happy when you have a good race car and, and a chance to win and you feel like that your strategy puts you behind so i'm sure there's a little bit of strain but this isn't a, a pairing that's going to go to way go away anytime soon for me crew chief let me start with you Four times, well, everybody was taking two. He decided to go four. He took ownership of it on Twitter when the race was over. What do you think he was thinking there? Uh, to be quite honest, I think there are crew chiefs that have had such fast race cars for so long that they are adapting to this new style of track position racing this year. Um, you know, the four of Kevin Harvick last year, I think four tires might have been the right call because that, those tires would have overcome Kevin Harvick, Rodney Childers race cars that he builds that are so fast could have overcome it this year. I do think they're one of the fastest cars and there's just no chance, no opportunity. They, they needed the yellow to be earlier. I'm not even sure that would have fixed it. So I disagreed with the call when it happened. Uh, look, I made a lot of bad calls in my career. It's a lot easier sitting on your couch and even easier on Monday, <laughs> Tuesday at this time than it is to do it during the race. Um, so, you know, I didn't love the call. He didn't love the call. But I think going back to what Kevin Harvick said, he didn't blame Rodney Childers. Now, that is about the nicest Kevin Harvick can be. I don't like how he answered the questions. I don't like the I did my job statement. But I would be concerned if he said, well, they messed it up. He didn't point a finger. Yeah. Now, he didn't jump in the ship with him and take blame, but he made sure he didn't point a finger. That would concern me more. But when I watch that whole race, DJ, I'm wondering who is going to be the standout this year. Who's going to be Joey Logano? Last year, we talked yeah. all about the big three. Come Miami, you and I were both there. It was Joey Logano standing in victory lane with the championship trophy. Who is it? This year, it's Gibbs and Penske toe-to-toe, -to -toe, whether it's Logano, Kozlowski, um, Kyle Busch, Truex. Maybe I'll throw Denny Hamlin in there. I don't believe it. Someone else. And is it going to be Kevin Harvick, right? Can they yeah. right the ship? I think they can. And when they do, all of this turmoil will actually be what builds them stronger. You know, can they correct it, though, over the summer? I think you'd be... Sadly mistaken if you think that Kevin Harvick's not going to be a part of the championship uh, talk whenever we get down to the last seven, eight races of this season. Will he be part of that championship for? More than likely he is going to be, but they have things that they've got to shore up from the pit crew to, to calls uh, and, and adjusting their, their strategies to the way that the racing is now, and, and probably Kevin even on the racetrack. Hey, Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.